ladies, it's Carissa Hagemeister here, the editor-in-chief of the Beautiful Side of Beautiful and Dauntless magazine. So today we are talking about women taking back our power. Now, what do you mean by taking back our power? I'm not referring to women's rights or women empowerment or anything in that retrospect. What we're talking about today is our health. Now, health is a huge thing, ladies. So let's take back our power by taking back our health. Now, if you have your health, you are a very powerful person. You radiate confidence, and you can be very persuasive when you're given the chance. If you don't have your health, you're weak. Weak physically, mentally, and emotionally. And it's sad, but it's the truth. Now this may sound harsh, but it's true. You have a lesser chance of getting pushed around when you're healthy than when you're not. And I'm speaking from my own personal experience here. So over the past about five years of my life, I'm just gonna share a personal story with you. Um, I've dealt with some major health issues and um, it's all dating back from when I was in my teens and in my 20s. So after I had graduated from college, I can like lived off from a diet of like chocolate and cupcakes and nachos, which are super not healthy. Um, you're not really getting any nutrients there, but that's what my food consisted of. It didn't help that I worked at a chocolate factory and was there like the majority of the day. Um, and I love chocolate, so of course, you know, I'm gonna eat those for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> um, back then, I had a fast metabolism. I still do, but it. I didn't think that the foods that I was eating was having any effect on me, so I just con continued to consume the junk. And um, then, out of nowhere, in my mid-twenties, like some crazy stuff started happening. I felt like I was dying. I just felt lifeless. Um, I didn't know where it came from, you know. It's, it was a really scary thing. But what happened was all of that stuff that I had been consuming, that didn't look like it was doing anything to me on the outside, it was doing stuff on the inside. Um, I found out that my body was no longer being, um, playing well with gluten. So um, I had a gluten intolerance that I have now. And with that, um, the foods that I was consuming, because at the point at 25 when I started feeling this way, I was eating more nutritious, more healthy, um, but it didn't matter because the foods that I had eaten before, they had created this problem inside of me. And the gluten was now blocking the nutrients from going into the other parts of my body, helping me stay functionable and helping me have energy and all of the things that are needed for a body. So um, I, I had to stop consuming that junk and I had to start eating healthy. I had to cut gluten out so that that wouldn't block the nutrients from getting into my body the way that it needed to. And then, <laughs> fast forward a few more years, I find out that I have anemia. And so I didn't take the news about the anemia seriously for over a year until my body felt like it was shutting down again. And at this point, it felt like I never had enough oxygen to breathe. I wasn't able to do anything active or really even eat. It was a huge wake-up call to me. And it made me realize I needed to take the anemia seriously and to do something to help my body get over it. So do you see what I mean now when I say we need to take back our power? When you're not on top of your health, you lose your power, ladies. And I write this and I say this, you know, with nothing more than encouragement for you. Eat and drink the things that your body needs and avoid the other garbage as much as possible. You know, having a little bit here and there isn't going to affect you as much, but mass consumption of sugars, gluten, alcohol, and all that, that stuff that you don't need, it destroys your body from the inside out and it really steals your power. Um, so if you're already having um, a problem with a health issue such as anemia, you can heal it naturally by changing the foods that you take in and the exercise that you do. You know, get the vitamins and minerals, the supplements that your body needs, and your body has the power to heal itself, so you can take back your power and take care of your body. Um, once you have gotten back into eating and drinking the, the things that your body needs, 
it's vital for your long-term health to hit the weights <laughs> and um, I'm being serious but you know make it an essential part of your day to lift weights to keep your muscles and your bone density strong um, I offer kickboxing classes online that um, that are really cool and I'm also working on a women's weight weightlifting course you can do on home at line as well so if you're needing motivation in those areas you know check out those courses I've got links to the video and I'm also I'll share them with you but everyone gets motivated differently so discover what it is that's gonna help you stay motivated and take back your power ladies so um, you know just eat right eat what you need stick to water mostly because that's really all that you need and you take care of your body by lifting weights and being active. Subscribe to get the latest stories from Beautiful and Dauntless magazine and to get the latest whatever it is that I'm talking about. Um, the website for the kickboxing course is www.udemy.com kickboxing-class-carissa slash however you say that. I'll put it below so that you can see that. Um, and I'll put our links to the magazine, to our website, to our Facebook and Instagram, so you can check those out as well. And if you want to email us, our email is below as well. We would love to hear from you guys if you have any topics that you want to hear about. Um, until then, until next week when I bring my next topic up, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you take back your power, take back your health and really just take care of yourself, all right? Love you all.